season of Lent provides for us the opportunity to do self-retrospection and to disclose our penitence before a holy God, as informed by the Gospel reading for today, Mark 4, 21-34. We come to an understanding of the freedom provided for us by the passion, death, and resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ. During this period, we are admonished to recommit ourselves to Him, emptying our all at the feet of the cross to Him who became the sacrificial lamb. He who paid a price we could not. He who died and lived that we too might die and live in the nearness of life. Lent encourages us to put off every encumbrance and the sin that so readily restricted us. For whatever is done in the darkness, the one that we brought to the light. Jacob's sons had sold their brother Joseph into slavery, with the understanding that was the end of Joseph. But God's plan for Joseph was to become a lifesaver, not only for the Egyptians and his own family, but the entire world. Today's reading from the Old Testament provides, provides for us an understanding of God's revelation of his servant Joseph as a father to Pharaoh, his own family, and a life saver to the world in the time of great famine. Similarly, our Lord's enemy thought that Jesus' death and crucifixion was the end of him. But St. Paul reminds us God raised him up from the dead on the third day. Today, he is at the Father's right hand, interceding on behalf of his church. Let us remember, whatever we do in the darkness will one day be brought to the light. Lent challenges us to lay down our burden, our guilt, and our shame, with an understanding that all our dependency is upon him. For we are mere mortal beings, impossible of saving ourselves. We are to heed to the call made when ash was placed on our forehead on Ash Wednesday. Repent and believe the Holy Gospel. The good news of God's saving grace, freely given to all who trust and believe in Him. Friends, let us not be the lamp put under the bushel where we cannot bring light to dispel the darkness of it. Rather, let us be placed on the lampstand where we can shine out and help to bring others to the light. Let your light so shine among the people that they may see a good hope and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. Let us humbly stand steadfast as a kingdom of people, declared by Jesus in the power of the mustard seed as we go forward in this holy season and beyond. May God in Christ renew our trust and faith and strengthen us.